Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanaliza Dawn. I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we have one last match for today. It's going to be a Tostic versus Kingstead on Trojan Hills. Tostic going for spiders. Kingstead going for cloakies. Hey, Cloakie Spider, a classic matchup, which I don't think Spider has the advantage in, but. Oh, no, sorry, other way around. Spider has the advantage, like, super early game when it's just, like, Venoms and Redbacks, and then Cloakie gets Rocco, or Ronin, and then they just win. So we should be seeing a lot of Ronin in this game, because that's how Cloakie wins the matchup. I mean, Skirmishers in general do a good job against Spiders, although admittedly, Reckless is... Nah, I don't know. Atosic's gonna go for Heavy Reckless afterwards. So that should change things quite a bit. Hmm, man, it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. Atosic, you gonna jump? You gonna go for it? Actually, I don't think they can. I think this is... Yeah, you have to be, like, here. There it is, yeah. Figuring out where you can actually go to jump the commander across that gap is a little bit tricky because it's not the straightforward option. Also, I find it interesting, Kingstead starting in the northwest side of the map. This is one of the most defensible sections of the map, but it's also the hardest section of the map to actually expand from. On the other hand, Atostic started out in what I consider to be the most forward section of the map because you can easily defend this area in the back and expand there and kind of expand all over the place. Now, because of the starting positions, that also leaves the entire eastern side of the map totally open. But again, I think Atostic just has the advantage because they have, like, kind of can see the territory like this. And they just get more metal as a result. Like, just, they control this whole section easily, whereas Kingstad kind of only has this available to them for where they started. Which makes things, actually, even that bottom section is a little hard. It's more like this. And Atostic kind of has this. So Atostic is going to be in a bit of a better position when it comes to expanding. Kingstead's going to have their work cut out for them when it comes to raiding. I believe they can, but they're going to have to. And they're doing exactly that. Glaze coming in here to start wiping out as much as they can of the metal extractors. And there's not much to defend. A Venom is being built up, and Lotus is already in play. That will obviously stop the first Glaive. Second Glaive, deciding better of it. Just saying, you know what? I'm not going to get myself killed. I'm going to go to this section here where I don't think there's anything. And I don't know. They know. They, they absolutely know. Yeah, the Glaives are well aware that they are about to die. Well, they were brave and suicidal. Last one's wise, though. Getting out of there, because that Glaive really is not going to do much good. It takes about six Glaives to kill a commander. Unupgraded recon commander. And even then, it is it is tough. Like, you're going to lose most of them in the process. Mind you, getting a commander two minutes into the game is going to be totally worth it for six Glaives. It's just... Why would you spend six glaives on that in a map like this when you have to spread out and figure out where the heck your opponent's even expanding? Because, again, Atostic has a massive positional advantage when it comes to where they can set up their metal extractors. It's huge. I, I really am not sure where you'd go with that. Okay, dying from... I'm, okay. Okay, dying... Okay, so I gotta address the chat. First off, Ronan in 2019, fair point. You're right. That's why I was like, okay, maybe not, because Reckless is quite strong, so probably more likely Phantom and Phantom Glaive, maybe. I don't know. It's, uh, Cloakie versus Spider is not a matchup I'd want to play the Cloakie side of. And six, I think, I don't know, 3250, it's if you surround the commander with the Glaives evenly, like perfectly spaced micro, I think six Glaives can still kill a commander. Though, yeah, I would send eight just to be safe, now that I think about it. It used to be 4. It used to be 4 with 6 to be safe, but I think with the HP buff, it's like 6 with 8 to be safe. Oh, right, and jump is, I think, for Recon Com. Yeah, against Engineer Com, definitely, I would say 6 would work. 6 properly spread out would work. Recon Commander, because the Recon Commander can jump, that messes up the Glaive positioning, and then the Recon Commander can easily wipe them out. So it's a little bit harder to work with. See, so yeah, I'd say 8. 8 minimum now. But yeah, I would say Engineer Commander, Econ Commander, six, 6 is viable. It's You're going to have like one left at the very end, but 6 is viable. However, both Kings and Atostic going for their Recon Commander, and both... Oh, I think Atostic's actually going to be the one forced to jump. I mean, dealing with the Lotus and dealing with the Commander Laser. Eesh, they're being quite brave, though. Not even bought... Nope, they don't even care. They figure the Venom Redback is going to do the trick, and they are right. King's Task Commander is coming in to try to deal some damage, but the tables are being turned as the Redback forces King's Task Commander to jump first. Glaives are here to help defend, but the Red Pack is entirely well equipped to deal with that. And we are, in fact, in 2019, seeing Ronin. Dying Freund, you probably are right, but still, Ronin are necessary in this particular instance because Red Backs. Now, that does mean Recklesses are very likely to be built up, and that's not what we're seeing, actually. No, we're seeing still Venom Red Pack. 
But Reckless will likely come up fairly soon once the Ronin are clearly the majority force being produced, and they are. Oh boy, are they. So King's Dead, yeah, right now they've got the north side built up. They have the Ronin coming in. Defending the western side reasonably well. Toxic Commander is under some fire. But I'd likely jump away as soon as any real threat happens. Same time, though, Glaive's coming over the northeast side of the map. I mean, I said a Tostic can build up freely, and they took full advantage of that, which means these Glaives have free reign to wipe everything out, the Lotus being the only real threat. Once that's gone, it's all over, and at the same time, a Tostic's commander is forced to retreat as the Ronin, in 2019, are doing a job. It's actually a reasonably good job. Forcing it. Okay, there's the jump. There's the jump, a Tostic forced to retreat with that. And on top of that, there's the Glaives coming in, wiping out that last metal extractor before the Venom Redback destroys the entire force. But of course, the flees coming in to take out the Ronin. Yeah, that's why we say, that's why Dreamfront was saying, Ronin in 2019. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. And again, this is what I mean by territory control. We're seeing as it plays out just how much Atostic is able to take the map compared to King's Dad. Like, King's Dad can kind of expand over from the south side and, like, build up a thing this way. But it's not easy. However, Kingstad doesn't have some raiding going here. Like, the fact that Kingstad does have other commander just help a bit. The fact that Kingstad has all these Ronin, and there's no recklessness to deal with them, and the fleas were all destroyed by the commander, and and this one Reaper, or Reaver, rather. Yeah, that's quite nice. Getting rid of Atostic's commander, that opens everything up. I mean, Atostic, I don't know if they're going to throw in the towel here, but they might very well. Kingstad basically breaking open this one plateau. And with that plateau, Kingstad will be able to start actually expanding to the center. They're taking out the center, and actually taking territory control around half of the map allowing them to get in this game properly for once on top of the fact that they have the reclaim of the commander i mean 440 re metal reclaim on everything else like that is nice what they got in total like yeah a thousand metal reclaim pretty well in their territory oof that's gonna be tough to deal with now granted it's still not the best position overall right, it's still a little bit tricky to try to deal with but it's it's more just a matter of like, once this once these spiders are gone, Kingstead pretty well solidly has the plateau, and with that plateau, Kingstead solidly has an actual foothold on the map, allowing that to take care of the center. Once the center is wiped out, it's going to be a bit of a tricky fight for Kingstead. But if they wipe out the center, that will open everything up because now Kingstead has the plateau. Kingstead has the center. They can surround a Tostic starting location from basically all sides, and more importantly, really cut off a Tostic's ability to reinforce. Because Atostic did have the backside, but they got a bit cocky in terms of what they needed to defend it, so they lost all of it. Actually, they are quite behind an economy, and they have not rebuilt it either. I'm honestly a little surprised. We don't see any Weavers going around the back to try to rebuild this backside and take the expansion. One finally going over there, three minutes after the expansion was destroyed. A little bit late, especially as the middle is being torn to pieces by all the Ronin and Glaives. I mean, there's nothing defending that. The Lotuses simply are not enough. Venom's coming in here, but that is exactly what the Ronin are designed to counter, and the Recluses are not, are just now being built. I shouldn't say not being built. They are currently being built, and that's it. King's Dad's commander as well, defending against the Weavers. For, for whatever reason, decided to come in here. I'm not sure what the motivation was, but it was not a well-thought-out one, as King's Dad is able to wipe out all of these forces here. The Venoms, the Recluses, the Redbacks. Or, actually, not the Recluses. The Recluses aren't even bothering in this area. The Recluses, they're a bit more focused on the south side of the map, but that's not doing all that much good. Yeah, one or two Reckless is not enough to get rid of the Ronin. Although, to be fair, King's Dad's Commander has been stunned out by the Venom. So slowly but surely... No, never mind. The Venom's hitting the ground. Nothing's going to happen. All right, never mind. There's there's the Fleas coming in there. King's Dad's Commander might very well be doomed. I and mean, a couple Fleas should be able to take it out. But, oh, that is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Losing your commander, full upgraded commander to fleas and a venom. Spiders can do that sometimes. At the same time, though, Kingset has been expanding. They have a massive economic lead. They've been taking advantage of that lead to get more of a lead. They're getting some map control, so it's not the end of the world. And hey, both commander corpses are relatively close to their own ability or their own constructors. They can start reclaiming both of them. So Kingset, I'd still say, is ahead. It's just a little embarrassing the way they lost their commander, but they're fine. Atostic, on the other hand, yeah, now if you look at the map control lane, Atostic basically has this to their name. King's Dad having everything else. So considering the start of the game and how much of an advantage Atostic had from the start locations, King's Dad has really pulled through. Like, despite that, and that up 
uphill battle they had to fight. And they got it. Oh, okay, so... Kingstad pointing out that the morph, because I was a little curious. Apparently they've been starting to morph up to level 4 without using any modules, just to give themselves the extra de defense, basically. But, yeah, apparently that's the thing Rar used to do. But still, I mean, Rar did everything with Commander, so it was a Commander thing, Rar did it. Kingstad, however, still, at least it was able to distract the forces long enough for not much, honestly. Atostic didn't really have that either way. But Kingstead does take the game, despite starting out with quite a disadvantage. I mean, Atostic, look at the metal income advantage. It was like 27 to 36, pretty early on in the game, with a 10 metal lead. Kingstead turning that entirely around. Although Atostic, did, oh, okay, the excess was at the end when they started losing their production centers. But Atostic giving the army value advantage, Atostic having the metal income advantage, the metal use was about the same. Actually, no, never mind, that production was, that was on par. Yeah, Tostic did actually lose a lot. What was their energy income like? Oh, uh, okay. I didn't notice that during the game itself, but Tostic was energy starved the entire game. That would explain a lot, too. So if Tostic had built more energy, they would have had a lot more units to work with. Would have been able to build a lot faster. Because, again, they had the advantage from the beginning. They had their territory lead just based on start positions. Like, King's Dad was playing very risky by starting here. But they were able to raid out and ultimately win, which a little surprising that it happened that way, but it did happen that way, so yeah. Oh, sorry, it, King Sam mentions to get the, the D-gun weapon at level 4, that's why they wanted to upgrade that way. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Not something I think about all that much, because I don't really upgrade commanders. But, yeah, I know, King Sam likes to upgrade commanders. A lot of players do. Yeah, overall, it just looks like if Atostic had built more energy, they would have had more metal use. They would have had a larger, well, obviously a larger, even larger army, which would have helped. And they would have been able to take all the territory, which is exactly what they needed. Anyway, that is that. So thanks for watching. That's going to be it for me tonight. Sorry about the lack of streams recently. I have been sick and I'm still feeling kind of sick, so I'm going to have to cut this a bit short. But I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, have a good night, everyone.